Hello YouTube, this is uh, Matt Pullen, and I uh, think I'm going to try to do another uh, Live Blitz um, video. These are not my favorite, but uh, it's, you know, they seem to be well, um, uh, they seem to be fairly well liked, and a lot of people are making them, so. Um, yeah, I'm on chess.com. Uh, this is a website. So let's try. I, I've not played uh, live chess on this site before, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to go 5-2. Um, That's one of the uh, common uh, ones. And min rating. I wonder if it's going to take my online chess rating to start with, or whether I'm 1,200 or something. Anyway, we'll do a rated game, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, Merce. All right, so this... I guess I'm 1,200, so I would be playing a low-rated opponent. I've not been playing much chess, like, at all, much online chess at all, in fact, in this, uh, for quite a while. So, yeah. Can I take with, no, I'll just take with pawn here. Uh, I don't really know the theory of this too much. Is queen b6 a move? That should be a move, if it's not already. Let's see, my um, d6 square might be a little tender here, I guess. Take with the d pawn. I'll play like e5. Then I pull my queen back to c7 to guard my e pawn, and then play bishop e6, rook d8. That is my idea here. Uh, bishop e6, maybe he plays knight g5, so do I have to play f6 before bishop e6? Well, especially if it wins a tempo, sure, why not? And the bishop on e6, rook's coming to d8 next, because I can't castle legally, of course. So, um, Or do I want to play knight g6 and then bring the bishop out? Knight g6, knight takes... Some... Sure, I'll... I'll bring the knight to g6. It wasn't really doing anything on uh, e7. Well, I can take if I want to. That would just bring his knight to h4, and I don't necessarily want that. So I'll gain, gain the tempo first with rook d8. He'll play queen e2 probably, and I'll play uh, bishop c5. Oh, wait, queen e2. Can I play knight f4? Does that do anything for me? Try and play bishop. Knight f4, he plays queen e3, so maybe I play the bishop to c5 before the knight comes to f4. I should castle now to uh, connect my rooks. And now knight f4 is a move that I would like to play. And if he plays bishop g3 to prevent or discourage that move, then I guess, uh, I guess I'll play uh, b5 then to, you know, get the bishop to c4 and, you know, harass his queen further. So, see, knight f4, rook takes, queen takes. He can't take on e5 because his queen is attacked. So, oh, I can't pre-move? Hmm, why can I not pre-move? So his queen is attacked, where will it go? Um, hmm. Queen takes, and then knight takes... And do I have anything promising? Can I make his knight move at all? Mm. I think I just have to... Yeah, I think I just have to take here. And play... To, uh, let's see. We play... Maybe I'll bishop to d4 here, attacking his uh, his knight, so maybe I can th I'm threatening to take and then check on e2. I don't know, for for a uh, for a 1200, I mean, this guy's pretty pretty solid. Um, can I throw in bishop takes uh, c3 here in an intermediate move? I like that idea, actually. So now I take, but with which pawn? Probably um, take into the center. So now I've 
managed to give him the, uh, the double pawns. So my king is just going to walk over to the queen side and try and win some uh, material over there. Um, see, I can put my king on c4, tying his king to, uh, to c3, but then he's just got to put his knight on d3. Um, all right, maybe instead what I do is I just walk my king over to, uh, to get his a-pawn. What can he do about this? Oh, he plays knight c5 check. Well, just stop that check first. So now I'm going to bring my king over to, uh, to hunt down his, uh, his, a, his loose a-pawn. If he brings his knight to b4, maybe I can just throw in a5 to get his knight off of there. His knight, see, can't go d5, can't go c6, can't go a6. So just toss in a5 to drive that knight away. Where's his knight going? It, does he have an intermediate? Can he throw in the a-pawn check and then take on c6? I don't know. That looks risky. Um, okay. So yeah, he, he saw that I was going to go and get his A-pawn. So uh, that would have been a fairly easy. But I mean, that, that guy was pretty, uh, pretty good. I mean, he's, it was really like 1,200. He didn't, he didn't lose a piece or anything. I guess he just missed that intermediate uh, bishop takes C3, which gave him an inferior endgame. Um, so yeah, that was a live blitz game. Um, you know, Life Blitz 27, I think it was. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more. Well, of course you'd like to see more of these because uh, people people like the Life Blitz. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll play some more games off video and get my rating up a little bit so that I, I'm matched with uh, better people. Um, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts were on this, my first Life Blitz game in quite a while. Have a good one.